Hello, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. This is day two of seven, y'all. Praise God. We are moving in the things of God. We are moving, hallelujah, towards God's rest so that we can settle in his rest, praise God, hallelujah. But on this seven day journey, praise God, that's what I am hearing, hallelujah, and seeing, praise God, that this is a seven day journey in the spirit of God. Let me say that again. It is a seven day journey in the spirit of God, praise God, hallelujah. That is almighty God that I'm referencing, praise God. Hallelujah, this uh, journey with the Lord, it is absolutely awesome, y'all, praise God. This was a uh, day two of the magnificence of the Lord. This was day two, praise God, in my experience, hallelujah, of the Lord just raising and elevating, praise God, making his name known among his people, praise God. Those who have been in the dark, hallelujah, I've seen them come to the light, praise God. Those who are wishing and hoping and, and even worrying on some things, praise God, hallelujah, but because the Lord shared his light, because the Lord said, praise God, hallelujah, go and speak life, hallelujah. I'm telling you, chains were broken today, praise God, hallelujah. The goodness of the Lord was seen today, praise God. I'm telling you, I have testimonies, basically, praise God, from people who are letting me know who are letting me know what thus saith the Lord and how it came forth in their lives, praise God, hallelujah. And I'm just so grateful to the Lord that he will use me as a vessel to speak through me, praise God, because it's none of me, hallelujah. It's none of me, praise God. I'm just trying to be to my best ability to be obedient to the Lord, praise God. And he is using me accordingly. And I'm telling you right now, I've received one of the greatest testimonies today, praise God, hallelujah, of someone walking into a place and leaving out with something that they really need. Didn't have to use any money for it, praise God. Hallelujah. But when they went in, they said, hallelujah, God sent me. Do you understand? Praise God. Hallelujah. That's the testimony in itself. Hallelujah. Went in boldly, praise God, and said, God sent me, praise God. Hallelujah. And you know what happened? The person that was there, praise God, received in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. They said, okay, hallelujah. I'm just so grateful to the Lord that he's doing it for us, y'all. He said he would and he is, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, when you believe, praise God, with the Lord is saying when you do what he says praise God you will see the fruit you will see him come through hallelujah why because you are obedient praise God you are obedient some of you are in situations hallelujah and you look around and you say I'm in this situation hallelujah but the Bible lets you know that it's temporal praise God there needs to be a change in that atmosphere hallelujah there needs to be a change in that condition praise God hallelujah but sometimes you can't do it you can't do it because you've been in that condition you think that it's normal praise God God. You're looking around and you're saying, hallelujah, this is just the way it is. Hallelujah. The devil is alive. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter what I see. Praise God. If God told me something different, hallelujah, it's what God said. I am standing on the belief of what God said. Praise God. And I'm not just saying it. Hallelujah. to sound good. This is in my heart. Y'all praise God. This is what I really believe. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, all he wants is you, is you to believe. All he wants is you to have faith in what he is doing. Praise God. Guess what? If you have confidence in the Lord, hallelujah, he is going to come through for you automatically. I'm telling you right now, praise God, just if you had a father or a mother, I'm telling you whether an uncle, whomever it was that raised you, praise God, somebody that you could depend on and you knew that when you asked them for it, praise God, you knew automatically it was going to be a yes, praise God. Well, let me tell you, the Bible teaches us that the promises of God, to an the answers to us, praise God, his answers are yea and amen. Y'all better hear it. His answers are yea and amen, praise God. Hallelujah. So when I look around and I hear people say they believe in God, but then when, as soon as something happened, praise God, their tune changed. I'm wondering, hallelujah, are you believing in the same God I'm believing in, praise God. Hallelujah. I don't care what it looks like in the mighty name of Jesus. This is just the enemy coming in to distract you. This is just the enemy coming in to get your mind off Jesus Christ. This is just the enemy coming in, hallelujah, to have you to come into agreement with this nonsense, with this mess, with this poverty, praise God. But I'm telling you today, hallelujah, that the devil is a lie, praise God. I don't care what vision he creates. I don't care what image he creates, praise God. Hallelujah. I don't care what trap he creates in the mighty name of Jesus. God is God alone and he will bring it through in the mighty name of Jesus because he says so and his word will not hit the ground. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, the word of the Lord will not hit the ground in Jesus mighty name. I'm telling you, you better grab this word in the mighty name of Jesus and stand on this word when it comes to the Lord because he's letting you know today. Hallelujah. He's the chain breaker, praise God. He's the renewer, hallelujah. He's the one, praise God, who restores. He's the one who comes in, hallelujah, and shake things up. He's the one, praise God, hallelujah, who will settle 
down that enemy in the mighty name of Jesus until judgment time. He's the one, praise God, hallelujah, because he's the light. You will make that enemy scatter, praise God, hallelujah, because the darkness, praise God, cannot stand up to the light. I'm telling y'all right now, the darkness, hallelujah, cannot stick around to the light. Even when you turn on the light in the room, praise God, what's going to happen, hallelujah, unless there are closed doors somewhere like a closet, praise God, it's going to light up the place. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ is coming in and he's lighting up the place in the mighty name of Jesus. And he's not just uh, lighting up like a regular light, praise God. He's fire in the mighty name of Jesus. That means he's coming in pure and he's coming in to purify, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, I don't know who I'm speaking to today, praise God, but the Lord is letting you know, hallelujah, it is time to ignite. Hallelujah. It is ignition time. Get that engine going, praise God. Hallelujah. Stop sitting still and go move. Hallelujah. The Lord has called you to do something, praise God. What I realize today, many people like to be around people who believe. Y'all better hear me, praise God. We're going to get to it in a minute. Many people like to be around people who believe, praise God. Hallelujah. Not that they believe that much, praise God. They believe in God, but they don't really stand on his word. They don't really apply his word, but they know that if they are in the vicinity, if they're in proximity, if they're in the area with a, 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 a hardcore believer, praise God, hallelujah, they're going to reap the blessings. I'm telling you, the blessings on that person just going to pour out onto them in the mighty name of Jesus. They're going to be rejuvenated. They're going to get ideas. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. That's why, hallelujah, they monitor you. That's why they watch you, praise God, hallelujah. That's why they want to be around you, hallelujah, because they want to reap off of the blessings that the Lord is pouring on you. They want to get the little bit, praise God. They want to see where the crumbs fall, praise God. Do you understand what I'm saying, hallelujah? But the Lord says it's time out for that praise God because when he rains on his hallelujah it's going to be a clear rain intentional rain hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus and I'm not talking about where the Bible says he rains on the just and the unjust yes he does that but this right here this rain right here is a pouring down of blessings on his saints y'all better hear me it is a pouring down blessing on his saints why because this is for his mission this is for his business praise god when he rains down on the just and unjust this is where he tells us don't worry about tomorrow he even feed the ravens y'all praise god don't worry about what you're gonna eat what you're gonna wear praise god hallelujah that is true praise god he will send people your way he will send you hallelujah in your obedience to his word he will send you to places praise god where you will receive and people have the heart to give praise god he will do this for you but i'm talking about the right that is going to pour down on you in this season and it is a rain of blessings for his saints y'all better snatch it up hallelujah y'all better grab that praise god hallelujah because the lord is letting you know that he's raining down blessings on his saints praise god hallelujah and if you are a saint if you are a firm believer in jesus christ if you are doing what god has called you to do praise god hallelujah you don't have to worry about anything else but being obedient you don't have to worry about anything else because your condition is going to change through your obedience. Hallelujah. Your atmosphere is going to change. Praise God. Hallelujah. The reason why people are still in a the state they're in, the reason why they keep seeing their situations in the same turmoil, praise God, their relationships not growing. Hallelujah. They're still in this same uh, uh, cycle. Hallelujah. One day they get along, the next day they don't. Praise God. Hallelujah. They're supposed to be in God's rest. Hallelujah. And these are believers, y'all. Praise God. Why is it like that? It's because they haven't been obedient obedient to God. What do you mean? Praise God. In your obedience, let me tell you, obedience is better than sacrifice. Many people are sacrificing obedience in God. Many people are saying, I'm going to lean on my own understanding with this. Hallelujah. I'm going to try to figure this out. Praise God. I'm going to do this. Hallelujah. I think we should do this. Praise God. I don't think, but I'm telling you right now, it's all about, hallelujah, what they feel and what they think. Praise God. Haven't consulted God at all about his business. Praise God. But they just talking about what they think. Praise God. And guess what? Hallelujah. When they lean on their own understanding, nothing comes out of it. It is dry land. It is not nurturing. Praise God. No fruit trees are growing in the mighty name of Jesus. And when they try to figure that out, guess what? The next cycle, they're going to have to try to figure that out too. Hallelujah. So they lead, they uh, held it, that thing, that thing in which God has given them in their hands. And I'm telling you right now, let me say that again. <laughs> I'm so excited, y'all. They are holding that thing in which God has given them in their hands, praise God. And what they're trying to do is figure it out. Let me tell you something. Hallelujah, y'all. When God gives you something, praise God, he's going to work it out. You're going to keep it. Hallelujah. He gave it to you. I'm telling you, everything else may fall to the side. Everything else must go. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything must go. Hallelujah. That is not of God. But what he gives you, I bet it's thing. I bet it stick around. Praise God. Hallelujah. Why? Because I believe it. Hallelujah. It will stick around. 
It is rooted in good soil. He gave it to you. It is truth. It is righteous. Hallelujah. That's what he told you to get. So you're going to have it in the mighty name of Jesus until he tells you to release it in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. If he tells you to release it. And I'm telling you right now, God is a good God and he's worthy to be praised. And today's message, y'all, of day two, I know I just went through that. Praise God. That was a whole 10 minutes, y'all. And hallelujah. And I pray that it was a blessing to you. But those of you who are here for day two of seven, let's get with it. The message, praise God, for today was to pray press on hallelujah press on in maturity what does that mean we are pressing on in the maturity of god which is the word we are reading the word y'all we are eating this word we are uh, uh, uh meditating on this word we're applying this word we're walking it out that's what it really means we're walking it out we are the doers of the word we're mature. We're the doers of the word. See, the mature ones do the word. This is where, where we're coming off, um, where I was just speaking about that obedience piece. The, we're doers. Those who are obedient to God are doers of the word. I'm not talking about people who believe in God, but then they keep doing their own thing. They're not doers of the word, y'all. They're doing their own thing. They believe in God, but they, they do their own thing, praise God. And it's very clear. The Lord was giving me clarity and clear view of those who have the Holy Spirit and those who don't. Hallelujah. I'm going to have to come back for that teaching. Praise God. But he gave me very clear. He gave me very clear, clear insight on how to determine a false prophet and how not, you know, what, who's a false, false, false prophet, but who's a false prophet. Look, I can't even get it out, y'all. Who's a false prophet? Who's a false teacher? Who's a false preacher? And who isn't? Praise God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is what the Lord has given me. It's very clear, y'all, and it's very simple. I'm telling you, praise God, too many people put too much emphasis on these uh, topics and subjects. And it's in the Bible. It's very clear. It's very clear, y'all. Hallelujah. So we don't have to stumble. You know, the whole term of wolves and sheep clothing, praise God. Just understand when the wolf is disguising itself as a sheep, it's still a wolf. Praise God. Hallelujah. It still had the traits of a wolf. It still had the features of a wolf. Praise God. It may have on the clothes. Yeah, it may have on the clothes. Praise God. Hallelujah. But the way that that, that the face is shaped, praise God, it's still going to be shaped like that. Why? Because it's a wolf, y'all. Hallelujah. It's still going to have wolf ears. Praise God. A wolf tail in the mighty name of Jesus. Wolf feet. Hallelujah. It's still going to have the wolf uh, uh, legs. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's still going to howl like a wolf. Do you understand? Praise God. So it, it's not going to be so, so much that uh, it's so deceiving that you can't tell the difference between a sheep and a wolf praise god the wolf just have on the clothes hallelujah it just look good on the outside look like a sheep y'all praise god read that bible if the, the wolf and sheep look, look like a sheep praise god didn't say it was a sheep hallelujah so the lord was teaching me praise god hallelujah how to discern this so easily in the spirit one thing that I know is that the Holy Spirit recognizes the Holy Spirit. He's one spirit. So his spirit in another person, praise God, is going to communicate because he's going to let you know, hallelujah, that's me. Hallelujah. Do you understand? Hallelujah. Not that one belonged to, to the body. No, that's me. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, you hear that? Praise God. That's me. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, he's going to let you know that that's him speaking. Praise God. Because he is a witness of Jesus Christ. He's going to let you know that's me speaking. Praise God. Hallelujah. And who is he speaking about? Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, he's giving Jesus all glory, all honor, all reverence. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is the Holy Spirit bringing us back to Jesus Christ. So if a person isn't being that way, praise God, if they don't have Jesus Christ on their mind, if they're not giving reverence to Jesus Christ, praise God, hallelujah, and they're standing firm in spiritual things, hallelujah, like celebrities, hallelujah, hallelujah, who are openly letting you know that they don't believe in God, who are openly letting you know who they worship. I'm telling you, fertility gods, gods and lowercase g, y'all, um, and all of this and that, you know, all that stuff. They're letting you know, praise God, hallelujah. They're letting you know they do yoga and they do the stretches, praise God. For those of you who do yoga and you call yourself Christian, you might want to look into yoga and those poses to determine whether or not, hallelujah, you should be doing it. I'm telling you right now, you shouldn't, praise God, because many of those poses are in reverence to lowercase g, God's. Okay, so you want to go ahead and study that and, and really examine that, praise God. Yeah, you can stretch, but you don't have to do yoga to stretch. You understand? Back in the day, we just stretch, praise God. Hallelujah. Before you ran, you just stretch. Hallelujah. You didn't do poses. You didn't do um, stances. Hallelujah. You didn't allow um, demons to enter you through uh, uh, certain positions. You know, understand what I'm saying? Praise God. Hallelujah. Opening yourself up. 
opening your mind up to what? Hallelujah. Are they teaching Jesus Christ to what? Hallelujah. Is the, is the fire tongues, hallelujah, landed? The Holy Spirit landed in this place, praise God? Why are you opening yourself up, praise God, for what? Hallelujah. You need to ask yourself that when you're doing those poses, when you're in those sessions, opening yourself up. Hallelujah. To what? That's the question in the mighty name of Jesus. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and move forward. So the Lord was letting us know that we need to um, be mature, press on to maturity. This is chapter six, verse one in Hebrews. And we need to press on to maturity because we need to move away from drinking milk, y'all. We need to move away from being fed milk. Hallelujah. Yes, we need those leaders in our lives who are going to teach us the right way. I mean, I have... Um, People who have walked this walk greater than me, praise God, who are in my life, praise God, hallelujah. I'm telling you, I have a session every single week, hallelujah. Well, actually, in the more than the session, I have like three different sessions, praise God, every single week where I am literally in the place, y'all, praise God, hallelujah. In the place, praise God. When I say in the place, I'm talking about in the spiritual space, hallelujah. And I'm in the place with the people, praise God, hallelujah. I'm not watching something on YouTube, you understand? That's good too if you find a, a true man, a woman of God, and you're watching them on YouTube. But you got to get involved, y'all, praise God, hallelujah. You got to go learn, praise God. And the Lord is the, will take you where you need to go. And so for myself, praise God, hallelujah, who is actually... Hallelujah, who's who've actually been to school um, to become a pastor, praise God, hallelujah. I'm just uh, going to move on into that, hallelujah, but I'm still uh, in the office of a prophet, but I just think for me, the Lord just kept saying, hallelujah, go do this, go to school, and so I just did it, y'all, hallelujah, I did it, <laughs> I'm finished, hallelujah. Now, if I want to continue these uh, courses and th different things that I'm doing, yes, I'm doing that because I know at the end of the day, um, that I can I can't get enough Bible. I don't know about y'all, but I love the Bible. I can't get enough. Praise God. I can't get enough Jesus Christ. I love the Holy Spirit. I love Jesus Christ. I love God. I just can't get enough. I don't know about anybody else. Praise God. But that's my testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm just gonna press in. So when he say fast, I'm fasting. When he say praise God, Hallelujah, get up, Hallelujah, and pray. I'm praying. When he say, praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah, he put somebody on my mind, praise God, on my spirit, praise God. If I can't contact him, I'll reach out, y'all, hallelujah, understand, praise God. I'll reach out, hallelujah. I'll say, Holy Spirit, who do I reach out to in order to connect, praise God? And he'll let me know, and that's how I connect, y'all, praise God, hallelujah. And I just move forward in what he's saying and doing, because it's not me, y'all. It is his spirit who's touching his people. That's why it's his business. He got business, y'all. He got, he got, uh, he has appointments with people and sometimes he make those appointments through you. Tomorrow may be somebody else, but today, hallelujah, it just might be you and you got to be ready to take that appointment. You got to be ready to speak into somebody's life. You got to be ready to prophesy. Hallelujah. If you stand in the office of a prophet, if you're an apostolic person, praise God, hallelujah, you're in that office, praise God, you got to be ready to build. You got to be ready to build, praise God, hallelujah, to construct. That's what the Holy Spirit just said. To construct, you got to be ready. Hallelujah. If you're a teacher, you got to be ready to teach. Praise God. You got to be ready to teach. If you're an evangelist, praise God. Hallelujah. You got to go. You got to be ready to evangelize. You got to be ready to go for it. Praise God. You already know you're going to be out and about. You got to be ready. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, do you understand? Praise God. Whether it's on a job, it doesn't matter. You got to be ready. Because the Lord is calling you for it, praise God. Hallelujah. And if you are a pastor, guess what? You got to be ready. You got to be ready for this sheep to come in. Hallelujah. So, so that they can graze. Understand? So that they can graze in this uh, uh, nurturing field, in this uh, 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 fertile field. Hallelujah. Of yours, this pasture, praise God. Hallelujah. That you've been sitting in. Hallelujah. That you've been praying in. That you're obedient in. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because you don't want to lead anybody astray. Because the Lord said he will draw people, hallelujah, unto you. He will draw people unto you, but it's not you that he's drawing them to, praise God. It's the spirit of God in you. Hallelujah, y'all better hear it. It's the spirit of God in you that he's drawing them to, praise God. That means, hallelujah, that he's going to speak. And it's not, hallelujah, to, to speak uh, 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 just any old thing. He's speaking to his sheep. He's speaking to those who are lost, who are coming in. It might be a particular message for that person, praise God. Hallelujah. You may wonder, why in the world am I I'm talking about this, oh Lord? Hallelujah. It's not for you to be concerned about. It's for God. It's his business. Just do it. <laughs> Amen. Just do it. Praise God. Hallelujah. I pray that you believe it and receive this word. Just know it's time to get off the milk. It's, it's time to, hallelujah, to move into things of God. Start walking it out. Start believing what God is tell telling you in this season, praise God. And just know, apply this word to your life. You got to walk it out, y'all. This is how we go into maturity.
Hallelujah. When the Lord tells you you have an assignment, you got to just walk it out, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, in 2021, the Lord said, go ahead on September uh, 11th. Praise God. Hallelujah. 911. He said, do your first video on um, Weed and Barley. He gave it the name. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I just moved in. Now, I'm telling you, never been online, anything like that. Never even wanted to. That's not a desire. Y'all may say today when y'all look at me like, oh, she just likes getting on. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, there are plenty of times that I'm like, I don't really feel like it. I don't really want to. I, I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because I'm up at night. Hallelujah. And I know um, being up at night, it, that's, that's a um, touchy topic for some people, but I know I'm up at night. Hallelujah. Because God is speaking to me. I'm praying. Hallelujah. It's something, praise God. Hallelujah. That he's having me to do. Praise God. Everybody is not called to do that. Hallelujah. So when I'm here today and I'm speaking to you and I'm saying I'm tired, praise God. Hallelujah. It's really because, hallelujah, I've been up for a very long time. On top of fasting, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so what the Lord does for me, though, he's training me, praise God. Hallelujah. Not that I would just fall out and pass out because I'm so exhausted. That's not even how it works, y'all. Hallelujah. He's training me like his spirit. Do you understand? To be just like him. He's a God who never sleeps or slumber. He's training me, hallelujah, to, to move on however many number of hours to move on, praise God. He's training me for that. Now, I can't tell you why, hallelujah, but I know it's a training, praise God, because it's been going on for a while and I'm still functioning. Hallelujah. My mind is not cloudy. Hallelujah. I don't like clarity in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is letting me know what it is that I need to do. And I do that. What it is I need to purchase, what it is I need to eat, what it is I need to drink. Even when I sometimes, y'all, I pick up a cold Coca-Cola, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the Lord is saying, nope. And I say, well, nope. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Because I got to move with the spirit of the Lord. I am just so happy that he uses me. Praise God. And I know that it's a help to people. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's a help to people. And I pray that you believe it and receive it. So um, the Lord was also sharing that when we look at chapter four of Hebrews, um, let's look at verse two, where it says, no, verse one, where it says, therefore, let us fear Fear, if while a promise remains of entering his rest, any one of you may seem to have come short of it. Hallelujah. Let's pray that none of us come short, hallelujah, of the rest. Because this is the seven-day journey, y'all. And we want to get to the rest of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we'll add that prayer to the end um, of us encountering the rest, that nothing comes in the way of uh, settling in the rest of God, praise God, because we are his children and we are going to get it, y'all. We And when I say get it, we're going to get the promises of the Lord. He said, yay and amen. That's all we need to hear. And we're going after it, praise God. Hallelujah. He's calling for engines to start, praise God. That means, hallelujah, many of you are going to be functioning at a greater level and you're going to be producing boom, 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 boom. I'm telling you, I've been writing down every single thing that the Lord has been producing through me just this year alone, praise Boom, 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 boom. And I'm telling you right now, praise God, hallelujah, it has just been ongoing, consistent, hallelujah, he hasn't missed a beat. There was one period, hallelujah, over the summer where he told me, hallelujah, to halt everything and I did just that, praise God, hallelujah. And I was thinking it was one thing, but it wasn't, praise God, hallelujah. He wanted me to come in like Mary, praise God. Martha and Mary, he wanted me to come in like Mary to sit at his feet, to rest at his feet, praise God, hallelujah, because it's something greater, it's something more. It's something that he wanted me to see and hear, praise God. And I got it. Hallelujah. I got it. It took a minute to even just to adjust to just separating, you understand, to halting, praise God. But when the Lord said, rest at my feet, hallelujah, and he started to speak and he started to show and he started to do and he started to move and he was, just, I'm telling you, just like this, boom, 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 boom. And I, every day I'm trying to keep up, y'all, with the Lord. I'm telling y'all, y'all serve a mighty God, but uh, he's a busy God. <laughs> Sorry. He's a busy guy, y'all. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you right now, if you are one who just think that you're doing everything on your own, praise God, you might you might be doing it by your mighty and your strength, praise God, but it doesn't mean the Holy Spirit is in you. But the Holy Spirit, when he's in you and he let loose, is boom, 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 praise God. You just got to go with the flow. You got to learn to um, really just, just relax, but also uh, yield to the Holy Spirit to let him do it. 
I'm telling you, when you let him do it, all the answers, all the thoughts, all the ways of coming up with this or that resource, whatever, it's just laid out for you. And he's letting you know how to do it. He's letting you know how to get it. He's letting you know how to be it, praise God. And that's what I've learned in this last season of consecration, because this is my year, y'all, of consecration. And if you've been with Wheaton Barley, praise God, since January, hallelujah, or even before, we came into this year, the top of this year, and I said, this is the year of consecration, because thus saith the Lord. And that's all we've been doing is consecrating on Wheaton Barley, praise God, hallelujah. And I know, hallelujah, that some people, Praise God. They, they're not consecrating like that. But that's on them. That's their journey with God. I have nothing to do with that. But I know me, I have to be obedient to God. Why? Because I'm going to get it, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. He says I'm a beneficiary. I believe it, y'all. I'm going to go get what he wrote about me. Hallelujah. I'm going to produce what he wrote about me by his spirit. Hallelujah. And I just pray that you're along this journey to know that God has greater for you. He is not playing around with his people, y'all. Y'all better believe him in the mighty name of Jesus. And let's be free and free indeed from the shackles of the enemy because the enemy wants to come in and bring you back to captivity. The enemy wants to come in and tell lies to you. The enemy wants to come in, praise God, hallelujah, and make you think, hallelujah, that what you what God told you is a lie because of what you see. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, praise God. I cannot give up on the promises of God because they are too good. They are better than what I see. So why would I give up on that to believe what I see, which is temporal? Praise God. Hallelujah. Even when I looked in the mirror, praise God, as a seven-year-old, eight-year-old, praise God. Hallelujah. That there was temporal. Hallelujah. I don't look like that seven, eight-year-old anymore. Praise God. Hallelujah. There was a promise of years on my life. There was a promise of years. Hallelujah. On my life. Praise God. And look now, I'm living it out. Hallelujah. The years in which God had promised me. And it's the same thing with you, y'all. If you think that what you see is always going to be, the devil is a lie. This thing will transition immediately. It will transition within a week, a month from now. Praise God. Six months from now. Hallelujah. The Lord had asked me a question, praise God. And I'm not going to tell you what he asked me. But he asked me a question because I was, I was talking to the Holy Spirit about something, praise God. And he just asked me, he said, what is this, praise God. Hallelujah. He just gave me this time frame. And it, it shifted my whole thinking. It shifted it, praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm thinking like, yeah, Holy Spirit, you're right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now. You do not have long before the Lord shift you. You do not have long before the Lord position you. You do not have long before the Lord gives you what he said he was going to give you. Praise God. And when he give it to you, hallelujah, I say dedicate it right back to him. Dedicate it right back to him. Because if he gave it to you, praise God, he's going to figure it out. Especially if you're getting new homes and everything. Else. He's going to figure it out. Hallelujah. New vehicles. He's going to figure it out. Praise God. Hallelujah. Why? Because he gave it to you. So he's going to make it light and easy on you. He said his burden is easy. His his yoke is easy. His burden is light. Praise God. I had to correct that, y'all. His yoke is easy. His burden is light. Y'all saw me pause. Like, excuse me? We're not going to mess that up. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and go with communion, y'all. I'm just so excited about the Lord and what he's doing for each and every one of y'all. Y'all have no idea. I just... Uh, this is why I ask uh, each and every one of you when the Lord is doing something in your life. You don't have to share it uh, with everybody on this platform, but definitely email me at allmaxine at gmail.com because it just fills me up to hear your testimonies, praise God. I'm telling you, it does something to me. Hallelujah. But, and I know it's the spirit of the Lord. It's just such a joy that comes all over me just to hear the goodness of the Lord in your life. And I've been receiving them over and over. I'm telling you, in the last couple of days, I've been receiving testimony, testimony, testimony. Prophetess, you said this, praise God, hallelujah. And I'm listening, but it's like, I have to remind them, that's Jesus, y'all. God said that, hallelujah. The Holy Spirit shared that, praise God, hallelujah. I'm just the mouthpiece. I'm just speaking what thus saith the Lord, but it's happening, it's coming through, hallelujah. And as the Lord is consecrating me more, praise God, hallelujah. I pray that he's consecrating you as well. And he lines you up with your destiny helpers. He lines you up, praise God, with those who are gonna speak into your life. He lines you up with those who are gonna pray over you and pray for you, praise God, hallelujah. And I'm not talking about people who just say they pray, nah. I'm talking about that you are in the midst of these prayers, praise God, that the Lord is, lines you up with people who pray, hallelujah. And that is something that's coming, praise God, after this fast. I know after um, the previous fast, we're supposed to do a prayer hub. This is what the Lord had given on to me that it, um, we would start here on Wheat and Barley with a prayer hub. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I've reached out to some regarding this prayer hub. If you haven't heard from me, hallelujah, but you know you talked to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
we've been communicating just know that i may reach out to you regarding this prayer hub for wheat and barley praise god hallelujah because it's going to be a house of prayer y'all this place right here is going to be a house of prayer not just our vessels our temples but wheat and barley is going to be a house of prayer hallelujah and i'm i'm telling you i'm only focusing on those who are true prayer warriors those who are ready to dive in and just pray hallelujah and we may not even be on the line long we will, we may not even be you know uh, um doing that part long but it is something that's not going to be advertised it's not going to be um something that is uh live and i'm recording it like this and uh, uploading it or anything like that praise god these are specific people who have reached out or i've communicated with and we are going to start this prayer hub because it's going to be intentional but it's also going to be personalized and it's going to be for those who really are seeking the lord not coming on here just monitoring but those who are really seeking the lord hallelujah and i pray again um if you haven't seen the notice for that make sure you check out the notice for um, the prayer hub, it was in the uh, newsletter, one of those instructions um, on the community side, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. So go to the community tab, look for the newsletter, and then you will see the information as to how to submit your information for uh, participating in the prayer hub, or you can email allmaxine at gmail.com and let me know you're interested, praise God, and I'll pray on it because God, the Lord says it's very intentional is very specific and one thing we're not going to do is have wolves and sheep clothing just somewhere monitoring now nah, we're not going to do that because he's calling us for a particular mission and i'm so grateful hallelujah to be on this mission of what god has ordained and orchestrated in jesus mighty name and if you want to be a part of that mission hallelujah doing the work of the lord reach out amen all right so we're going to first corinthians chapter 11 starting at verse 23 and it reads for I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was take, betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Break it. Thank you, Lord. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Thank you, Lord. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in doing so, in so doing, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself, if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick in a number. Sleep, praise God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's just uh, pause right there in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's make sure that when we are uh, making judgment, especially with the body of Christ, because we should examine the fruit, praise God. Hallelujah. But we should... Um, you know, make sure that when we are making these judgments, as the uh, Bible is letting us know, and Jesus spoke, that we are rightfully judging. Hallelujah. Because you don't want to spew off and just say things or, or believe things in your heart that are untrue. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because that uh, judgment is going to come back on you. Praise God. He Here on 28, it says, but a man must examine himself in, in so uh, doing he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup for he who eats and drinks eats and drinks judgment to himself praise god hallelujah so let's not judge a um book by a cover let's not um judge a person or a man or woman of god praise god because we're talking about the body of christ and it's false judgment, it's false accusations, it's slandering, praise God, hallelujah. Because what happens is you end up bringing judgment on yourself. That's the Bible, okay? Nobody has to send arrows back your way. It's, it's the Bible, okay? So we want to be careful about that, and we want to make sure that we're very careful about how we use our tongue, right? Our tongue, hallelujah, how we speak about other people in the mighty name of Jesus, especially in the body of Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, anything that I've said on this platform, the Lord has told me to say, especially if it's about a particular person and let's say they're in the body of Christ. Praise God. 
Hallelujah. I'm praying for him in the mighty name of Jesus. I always know that I'm always praying for him. I say, we got to pray y'all praise God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, because the Lord is calling for it in Jesus mighty name. So we want to make sure of that, and this is definitely not a platform where, uh, we, um, come in to expose this and expose that. Hallelujah. If the Lord wants to expose, he'll expose. If the Lord wants to use this platform to bring light to a person, praise God, he will. But this is not the basis of this, praise God. If you look at the videos, uh, this we, we pray, we prophesy, we move in uh, fast, and we do those things, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm just so grateful for the Lord that he has chosen us for this time. In Jesus' name. Oh, Lord God, thank you for communion. Thank you, Father God, for touching us. Oh, Lord God, thank you for giving us what we need, the instructions. Oh, Father God, thank you for bringing us into maturity. Oh, Lord God, those who are willing to apply and walk it out in the mighty name of Jesus, walk out this word, apply this word to their lives in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. For those who are ready to get off milk, those who are ready to stand alone. Hallelujah. To seek you, oh, Father God. And when I say stand alone, meaning that they're going to read this word, oh, Lord God. Hallelujah. Outside of their leadership leaders and teachers, Father God. They're going to go home and read this word and they're going to seek you and they're going to find you. They're going to knock. Hallelujah. You're going to open the door. Hallelujah. I just thank you for that, oh Lord God, for weaning them off of milk, oh Father God, so they can start applying this word to their lives and walking it out in Jesus' mighty name. So they can start seeking you like never before in Jesus' mighty name. So you can show up for them, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Like never before in Jesus' mighty name. We are so grateful and honored, Lord God, that you have chosen us in this time to, to be in your presence, to consecrate to you, oh Father God. God, in Jesus' mighty name. We love you, we honor you, and we glorify you, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. May we find your rest in this season, oh Father God. May we follow your instructions and your directions in this season to be in your rest, to settle in your rest. Show us how to settle in your rest, oh Father God. Show us where your rest is, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Show us what we need to do in order to be in your rest, Lord God. We know we have to be about your business, oh Father God, but we want to make sure that we're doing the right things. We want to make sure, hallelujah, that we're just not so busy doing this and doing that and thinking that we're doing the right thing. But we want to do the right thing, oh Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We don't want to be a Saul, hallelujah, persecuting your people, oh Father God. He thought he was doing the right thing, hallelujah, but you came, Jesus, hallelujah. He said, why are you persecuting me, praise God, hallelujah. That was the shift right there, Lord God. Your encounter was the shift in the mighty name of Jesus, and when he shifted, Lord God, you blinded him in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, and that was his time of consecrating to you, oh Father God. Three days, hallelujah, Godhead, three, Godhead, praise God, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, oh, Father God, for the completion. Hallelujah. That's a divine completion. Three days in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And the scales fell off his eyes, praise God. The scales fell off his eyes. Hallelujah. And he became one of those devout. Hallelujah. He became, praise God. Hallelujah. One of those that no one could have said to him, praise God. Jesus doesn't exist. He knew. Hallelujah. He saw you, Lord God. He encountered you, praise God. Hallelujah. That was a face-to-face -face encounter in the mighty name of Jesus. And and we thank you, Lord God, for it in Jesus' mighty name. Because now we know that we know, hallelujah, that sometimes, praise God, we can be doing something that we think is right, hallelujah, but it doesn't line up to you. Hallelujah, I pray in this season that we're doing every single thing that is lined up to you, that we're seeking you and we're finding you, oh Lord God, hallelujah, and that we're doing every single thing that you have told us to do, and it's lining up to your will, oh Father God, hallelujah, that we're not leaning on our own understanding, but we're leaning on yours, which is higher than ours, hallelujah, we're grateful for your thoughts, we're grateful grateful for your love. We're grateful for what you're doing in this time and how you're pushing us forward, praise God, in acceleration in this season, oh Lord God. We thank you and we love you and we believe it and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. That's the reason for this pressing on into maturity. You're accelerating us forward, oh Lord God, hallelujah, so that we can walk on our own, we can stand on our own, Lord God, hallelujah, so we can be at our post, Lord God, doing the assignment in which you have given, praise God, hallelujah, and we're not leaning on milk in this season, but we're eating meat, hallelujah, we're eating flesh, praise God, hallelujah, and in the mighty name of Jesus. May we settle on this word, oh Lord God. May we settle in your rest, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. This is a seven-day journey. We thank you, oh Lord God, for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that you believe in and receive it. I pray that you do the will of God. I pray that you continue to consecrate um, in the Lord. Hallelujah. Doing what the Lord is calling you to do. I also pray Hallelujah, that you're not taking this fast lightly, that you're doing what God is calling you to do and you are pushing forward because of acceleration, y'all. Hallelujah, he's accelerating many to get to his rest. There's a reason, y'all. I'm telling y'all, there's a reason, praise God. Hallelujah. Y'all better believe it. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, you're going to go to sleep and wake 
up one day, praise God, hallelujah, and it's going to seem like the entire world has changed. It's going to seem like the time is just sitting still, praise God, hallelujah, and you're going to be so grateful that you settled into God's rest, hallelujah, because everyone who isn't in his rest, y'all better hear me, everyone who isn't in his rest, hallelujah, they're going to be in an uproar. They're going to be trying to figure out what they're going to do. They're going to be in total darkness. They're going to be a delusion. I'm telling you, there's going to be a delusion, a heavy delusion, praise God, that is going to serve surface and going to cover people hallelujah and they're going to be looking for you light they're going to look for you illuminated one who has the holy spirit in them they're going to be looking for you hallelujah i'm telling you right now because you're going to have truth in you they're going to be looking for you praise god seeking you hallelujah and really what they're seeking is god they're seeking, hallelujah, the voice of the lord they're seeking hallelujah the one who believes praise god if they could just get next to the one who believes if they could just get next to the one hallelujah who will not be swayed out the word of god Praise God. Hallelujah. Then maybe they'll have a breakthrough. Then maybe God will hear them. Then maybe, then maybe, then maybe. I'm telling you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Get into God's rest today in Jesus' mighty name. Because the Lord loves you so much and he's letting you know ahead of time what to do. This is a seven-day journey. I pray that you believe in and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Receive what's yours. You're the beneficiary of his will. Receive what's yours today in Jesus' mighty name because he has many promises for you. And remember, the answers to his promises for you are a yay and amen all right y'all be blessed in all your ways i love you with the love of christ i'll see you at 7 a.m tomorrow morning with day three blessings